No, believe it or not, I'm not dead. Um, I've just been doing a lot of stuff with the whole moving out thing, and yeah, this is all different here, and you know, probably someday I'll give you a whole tour of the new place, but uh, that's not the point of this video, because the point of this video is, as it almost falls over, I just got my Nexus 7 in the mail today, so I'm going to unbox it. So let's see here. Uh, I've been looking online and uh, apparently these things are pain to unbox. I don't know, I saw, I think it was an article on Gizmodo, a montage of uh, failed unboxings, just people fighting with the packaging. Um, so hopefully this goes well. I haven't seen one of these in person yet, but uh, when I saw them announced on, what was it, the 27th of June at Google I.O., uh, I, I had one of those shut up and take my money moments, like literally I had a shut up and take my money moment. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got the slip cover off, so we're part way there, I think. It says Nexus on it, that's cool. Yeah, so it's got a quad core Tegra 3 processor. I think it's a gig of RAM. Uh, I got the 16 gig version. I didn't think 8 gig would be enough. It doesn't have a micro SD card slot, but I don't know, I think the 16 gig should be fine. Alright, let's see here. Ah, that wasn't so hard. Do people complaining about with the unboxing, and that's just going to fall over, that's just fine, and it's shiny. Uh, let's see here, so we'll pull that out, and wow, it's pretty light, and uh, cool piece of fuzz there, it looks like a, that was a bug, so yeah, Nexus, we'll come back to that, what else do we get with it, we've got another box, yeah, there's nothing else in there, so this is probably charger, I guess, oh, I already broke it. So there's the uh, lock for the wall and the USB cable, micro USB, and some getting started stuff. Warranty, uh, quick start guide. I was gonna say I need to like plug it in and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Just plug it in, charge it up. It comes with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and uh, there's my face and the distorted plastic there. Uh, it marks off, oh that's where the NFC is, alright that's cool. Take that off. Um, ah, there we go. Almost. Almost. It's off. And it's already got some fingerprints on it, cool. Uh, it's got a rubberized grip on the back, I like that. Um, yeah, I'm just imagine like playing it, playing games on it mostly. Uh, yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it is really lightweight. I don't know. I think it's already given the Kindle Fire a run for its money. You know, 199 for the 8 gig version, 249 for the 16 gig version. Uh, it's pretty much the same price as a Kindle Fire, but a lot more powerful. We'll let it boot up. If I hold it in one direction, I get the reflection from the lights. If I Tilt it another direction, I get the ceiling lights in it. Oh, it's like lose lose. Wait, I found the sweet spot right here. There's the glowing X. It's supposed to be a pretty high resolution screen. I can't really tell from the boot up sequence, but uh. Oh wow, that's that pretty sharp actually. Um, <laughs> somebody's, uh, one of my neighbor's Wi Fi networks names has got hacked, and um. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that when I first moved in, so, uh, sorry to hear about your Wi-Fi, buddy, <laughs> whoever you are. Uh, oh man, I don't remember my Wi-Fi password off the top of my head. So, I guess this is where the unboxing ends. I'm probably going to do a full review on it, but oh wait, I have something else to unbox. I bought a case for it too, so might as well unbox that too. There you go, you buy zero, get one free. Well... It was free for you guys, not for me. There. I cut the plastic off screen, so it wasn't really too exciting. You didn't miss a whole lot. It was just cutting the plastic. Let's see. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's flexible. It's interesting. I thought it was going to be like a hard plastic, but, uh, yeah, it's a rubber case. Interesting. I guess that 
will help maintain the grip that's on the back of the tablet itself because you would lose that putting it in the case. So I guess that's pretty neat. Uh, yeah. So there's the, uh, I might as well put it in the case. It just slips in like that, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, almost. Almost. Really, I swear, almost. I'm super cereal. Uh, wait. I'm trying to get the last corner. There we go. Well, that wasn't exactly effortless, but it's in the case now. That's pretty neat. So, yeah. Uh, I saw some video online, I think it was on Engadget I saw it, where uh, apparently this the, the Nexus 7 has a magnetic sensor in it, kind of like the iPad, where if you use a smart cover, you know, you close it and it automatically locks, and if you open it, it automatically unlocks. I was curious to see if the... Well, a lot of people are wondering if the case that you buy from the same Google Play Store you buy the Nexus 7 tablet from uh, was going to involve that magnet sensor in some way, but apparently it does not, because when I open it, it does not unlock. And let's see. If I unlock it, close it, no, it's still awake. Whoa. But it just went nuts pressing buttons. Let me try that again. Okay, well, that was weird. It's not triggering the screen now. I bet I hit something with my thumb. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all I could do because I don't know the password off the top of my head. I have it written down somewhere. <sighs> Gonna have to go find it. So, it wasn't too exciting of an unboxing, but there you go. Uh, hopefully, I don't have one of these long uh, pauses again in the videos. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I should be coming back with a review soon. So, uh, keep checking the website, I guess. See ya.